this uh, video tutorial is going to look at the, the files that are part of the projects and solutions that you work with in Visual Studio. The main file that opens, of course, when you're working in Visual Studio that you've been working on so far is the, the program file, the .c sharp file that you can see here, which appears in this tab. If you had several programs open, uh, there'd be a variety of tabs here, and you can see here when you close off the tab, you close off that program file. Now, fortunately, there is a window over here in this uh, right-hand side, which is uh, the Solutions Explorer, and you can see down here, one of many files that are available to you is that program. If you double-click on it again, it should open. In here, you can see the project name is Hello World. The solution is uh, Hello World 2 as well. And uh, one solution, uh, when you're going on working on bigger systems, can have many projects inside it. But for now, really, or, uh, or for this course, uh, you're going to be working on single solution, single project. Your file, I have set aside a position for the file here. There's a default uh, folder for projects in Visual Studio in the Documents folder where the, the projects reside here and you can see as the projects build up they can go here but for one of my other projects in the documents folder I set up a hello world project folder uh, with items for each phase and I set inside the build folder I put the hello world 2 project there and you can see when you navigate in there the same files that you can see here this being your project file uh, appear in the Solutions Explorer. So that's where it resides on the, the hard drive. So if you browse into that folder, the solution file is this one here, which contain, contains all the settings of the different files that are part of this project folder here. So if I wanted to move my file from one computer to another, it wouldn't be just a case of moving the source file or the, the source code it would be a case of moving the entire project. So you'd have to take a copy of the entire project folder, copy and paste it. If you were to move it over uh, email, the best thing to do would be to compress it into a, a zip file and then attach that to an email. You can see here, I'll just show you the process of a, a project I've received on my email here, which has been zipped. I'll show you the process of receiving that from an email and opening uh, the project in Visual Studio. So first of all I'm just going to download the zip file. I'm going to save that into my documents folder. So now I've downloaded the zip file. I'm going to extract it. And the extracted folder you can see appears here. When you browse in to the folder and double click on the solutions file, this project should open in Visual Studio. A message now appears asking me um, should I trust this um, project from its source and I click OK here. I know the source of that project, I'm happy with it. While that's loading, I'll just note to you here that there are now two instances of Visual Studio open. The one with our Hello World 2 program, which we originally had opened, and now there's a separate instance here, which is going to contain the vehicle tax project that's just loading right now. Visual Studio has now opened the solution, which contains one project, and inside that project you can see that our program is ready and if I just double click it in our Solutions Explorer window here that will open and I can continue working on my code. And of course Visual Studio has the editor here where we can edit this code and then there's a process by which the edited code is turned into machine code which the machines can understand. And If we go back into our back into our project folders here you can see for the hello world project that I created in the build folder inside hello world 2 here um, there is an executable file that the computer understands so when you browse there into the 
bin folder during the debug process um, which is when you're working on or debugging or creating the solution uh, for release later on inside that folder there's an executable file which the or an application file that the computer can run so if I double click on that you can see my hello world application can run if you wanted to share that file with other users in the Windows platform you could literally copy and paste that file and uh, give it to users and they should be able to run it on their machines. Just one final item uh, to note here and uh, the management of files in Visual Studio. When you are working in Visual Studio and you notice your program tab up here, if you notice this asterisk beside the, the program, that asterisk is indicating that there has been changes made to the file but they haven't been saved yet. So you can click the button on your toolbar to save the individual program file or this button here to save the entire project and any changes that may have been made across any files uh, across the entire project. So I'm just going to click on that button. And you'll notice once the save has been committed that the asterisk disappears. If I start typing in a new line of code or make any further changes, that asterisk reappears just to flag to you again that further changes have been made. So it's time for that quick quiz. Don't forget to pause and test yourself to see if you have retained what's happened in the video. So get yourself active, get yourself writing and see um, what you know about managing files in Visual Studio. First question, where can you view and manage your files in Visual Studio? So is it the Solutions Explorer, the Properties pane, the Output pane or the Editor window? The answer here is the Solutions Explorer. You can see in Visual Studio, the editor uh, here is where you can make your changes to your files. The output pane then is where you can see the uh, output of the, um, of the programs and any errors that might occur or uh, output here if there's uh, compiler errors um, during your uh, build of your program file. Um, the Solutions Explorer, as, you can, as the correct answer here, is where you can see the files within the project or within the solution. And if there's many projects within the solution, you can see all those files listed there. And then, of course, the properties uh, of those files can be viewed down below here in the Properties pane. Uh, that should give you uh, that question here should give you a nice focus on all these little panes of the the Visual Studio window that appears on your screen. What does the asterisk character next to the file name in the code editors tab mean? Does it mean that code changes have not yet been saved, the code has no compilation errors, code has been saved correctly, or this code has compilation errors that will prevent it from being completed? And of course this means that this code has changes that will that have not yet been saved. The asterisk symbol has appeared in the tab here for this program that's been worked on and this program here is listed in my solutions and if you go up to either the toolbar you can save the individual program, you can save all files in the current solution or you can choose to go by the menu bar here as well as the toolbar and choose the save options there you can save the program, save it with a, a different name or a different version of the program and again save all the projects so you can go via the menu or the toolbar and there you see when you commit that save that asterisk disappears.